Welcome back everyone. You may have a Samsung phone like the Galaxy S21 or maybe an older Samsung and you may be trying to speed up the fingerprint sensor that's been embedded within the display. Now pretty much the fastest way to go ahead and speed this specific you know little thing up is to actually go ahead and wipe the display down. So if you have a lot of smudges and dirt and all this other stuff within your specific display, or if your hands are really dirty, you may want to go ahead and not only clean off the display, but you may want to clean off your fingerprints as well in order to actually get a better, you know, scanning mechanism for that specific device. Now, this is pretty much the fastest way to do it. You can pretty much just get a microfiber cloth or your t-shirt, go ahead and just clean off the bottom display or the whole entire display, and that should end up speeding up the fingerprint sensor of your, you know, Samsung Galaxy. Now, for some reason that doesn't work, another big thing you can do that I've seen many, many people do, and I would highly recommend doing it as well, is to re-scan your fingerprint for your specific phone. So what you want to do is you want to go back inside of your specific, you know, settings for your Samsung phone. You want to go under biometrics and security. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find where it says fingerprints right here. You want to go ahead and re-scan your fingerprint. So click on fingerprints up here and you just want to set up another fingerprint sensor for your specific device. Now you can delete the existing one or you can just keep it in and do a new one if you want to, whatever, how it works. So that's another thing you can do. I've seen this time and time again, end up speeding it up for a bunch of people out there and it'll probably end up speeding it up for you. Another big thing you can do in my opinion is to pretty much update your Samsung phone. So you can go make your way back into your settings like this. You wanna scroll down into software update, which is right here. And all you wanna do where it says download and install, you want to go ahead and click there and you want to go ahead and download and install the most recent version of software that's available for your specific phone. And like I mentioned, if you're up to date, then you're good. But if you're not, you may want to update, you know, to the latest version and that should end up fixing the issue as well. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.